Hi, yeah, excuse the state of me, I've just got out of the bath, um, got my jammers on, and obviously my hair's so wet, so just ignore that minor detail. Um, just dead quickly, because I know I just listed, listed, um, mentioned this in my haul earlier, but this book that I bought earlier, uh, Three Wishes by Leanne Moriarty, I've actually read it this evening. It was a really quick, easy read. Um, I don't know whether you can see, but it was 376 pages. Um, and I would, get, I would say the font size was pretty average. I mean, if I show you. Sorry, that's not very good, is it? But I would say that's pretty average, if not quite big, sort of text size. So it was a fairly average size book, really. Um, it was, I enjoyed it. I don't think I enjoyed it as much as her newest one, The What Alice Forgot, which I might review at some point, although I don't still have my copy of that book. Um, but I might still do a review of that one. But I did enjoy this book. It was a story about a set of triplets um, and sort of their difficult, their close but difficult relationship, I guess. I find it really interesting. I suppose that being an only child, I kind of don't quite know what that would be like to have two sisters. So maybe I find it more interesting as an observer, but it was an enjoyable story. Um, what happened was maybe a little bit far-fetched, but then I can understand how it could possibly happen in the heat of the moment. And it sort of created the pinnacle for the whole story. And sort of it, as the story went, it, it kind of went backwards a little bit in time to sort of tell you about earlier incidents. Um, so, yeah, so it was a good story. Um, I wasn't sure about the ending. The ending maybe felt just a little bit too perfect, but, you know, it was all tied up and it was all resolved. That's the main thing. It wasn't like you were just left hanging, wondering what happened. Um, I think this cover's really quite cute, actually. I don't know whether it's from a photograph, but it's quite a nice photo. And obviously, excuse me, obviously this is the, the triplet. So one of these is Cat, one's Gemma, and one's Lynn. It's Cat and Lynn are identical twins, so I guess that's these two. And Gemma was the non-identical non of the triplets. So they were like twins and she was the third to make triplets. Does that make sense? It's something to do with the eggs, isn't it? That the two who are identical come from one egg and then there's another egg. Anyway, I don't understand how all that works. So, I'll read the back of this book for you. It says, It happens sometimes that you accidentally star in a little public performance, your very own comedy, tragedy or melodrama. The three Kettle sisters have been accidentally starring in public performances all their lives, affecting their audiences in more ways than they'll ever know. This time, however, they give a particularly spectacular show when a raucous champagne-soaked birthday dinner ends in a violent argument and an emergency dash to the hospital. That's a bit, that sounds maybe a little bit far-fetched, but you can understand how it could happen. So who started it this time? Was it Cat, full of angry, hurt passion, dating back to the night of the spaghetti? Was it Lynn, serenely successful, at least on the outside? Or was it Gemma, quirky, dreamy and unable to keep a secret? except for the most important secret of all. Whoever the culprit, their lives will have all changed dramatically before the next inevitable clash of shared genes and shared childhoods. <clears throat> An Australian Women's Weekly called it funny, wry and touching. I actually thought there's three varieties who write. There's Leanne Moriarty, Laura Moriarty and Sinead Moriarty. And I kind of assumed that they were all sisters, funnily enough. But apparently they're not. Apparently one's Irish, one's American and one's Australian. So that put paid to my little theory then, didn't it? Um, what I really did like about this book is that there is a prologue at the beginning. I'll show you there. And it starts with the bit that was on the back. Excuse me. Um saying it happens sometimes that you accidentally star in a little public performance of your very own comedy, tragedy or melodrama. You're running for your morning bus, briefcase swimming jauntily when you trip and tumble playground style to the footpath. You're trapped in a heavy breathing silence of a crowded lift when your lover says something infuriating. What did you just say? Or your child asks a rather delicate question or your mother calls on your mobile to shriek dire warnings. 
You're shuffling past a row of knees in the cinema, caught in the spotlight of the previews when you tip your popcorn into a stranger's lap. You're having one of those days of accumulating misery when you argue violently with someone in a position of power, a bank teller, a dry cleaner, a three-year-old. You can either ignore your silently grinning spectators, glower at them, or shrug humorously. If you're a flamboyant type, you might like to give them a little bow. It doesn't really matter much what you do, because you have no control over your role in amusing little anecdotes they're already busy composing. If it suits them, they will rob you of even more dignity. And then it goes on to relate that to the three sisters. But I love that as a book introduction, because you sort of read it and go, yeah, I've done that, I've been there. And you start thinking of all the times that you've been in the middle of that scenario yourself and wondering what people went off and said about you. So anyway, I'm just reading this notes, the notes inside here. Leanne Moriarty is actually the eldest of six children. The three wishes this book was actually her first novel, so that's interesting. I've actually got another one of hers here, which I think I might read next, which I already had. This one is called The Last Anniversary, obviously again by Leanne Moriarty. Um, so I think, have I got time? I'll, I'll read the back of this too quickly. It says, love is a decision, not a feeling. I like that theory. That's what you young people don't realise. That's why you're always off divorcing each other. No offence, dear. So decrees the formidable Connie Thrum of Scrubbly Gum Island. It's been over 70 years since Connie and her sister found their neighbour's new baby waking for her feed. The Munro baby mystery changed their lives and their bank balances forever. Now Connie has passed away and the island residents ponder her legacy. Sophie Honeywell is looking down the barrel of her 40th birthday, still hoping for that fairy tale ending. Grace, the Munro baby's beautiful granddaughter, can't tell anyone what she hopes for. It will be too shocking. Meanwhile, a frumpy housewife makes a pact with a stranger. An old lady starts making her own decisions and a family secret finally explodes on an extraordinary night of mulled wine, fire eating and face painting. So, that's that one. So I don't know whether I'm going to read this next, but I think I'm going to read this one fairly soon. Um, so I'll give you a review of this one too when it's done. Um, but I really like this author's style. So we shall see. Obviously this was a second book because it says also by Leanne Moriarty, Three Wishes, so obviously this came next. Um, the only thing about this book that I don't really like before I start is if you look at it, it's really small. It's like, I mean that one is kind of big for a, a novel, but that one seems really little. And if you look, the text seems very small. I'm sure I'll get used to it as I read, but compared to that one, if I sort of do a little compare, the text just does seem quite a bit smaller to me, but we'll see. Anyway, so yeah, so I just wanted to share my thoughts on Three Wishes with you really, and I would recommend it. I would give it maybe three and a half, maybe three out of five, I think. Um, so yeah, if anybody's read it or if anybody decides to read it, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Or if anybody's read this one, The Last Anniversary, um, let me know. Or if anybody's read any other books by any of the other varieties I mentioned, let me know below. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.